Welcome to Jerusalem News on this, the first Sunday after Passover. The headlines. In the early hours of this morning, medical teams were called to the tomb of Jesus of Nazareth, where Roman guards had been standing watch. Well, we knew it was a high profile case, so we'd been up all night guarding that tomb. It had been dead quiet, if you know what I mean. Um, and then it just all kicked off. Some massive earthquake, stone rolled away. Well, to say we were surprised, we were just all out for the count. Women who have gone to embalm the body of Jesus enter the tomb but find the body missing. We didn't know what to think. We went into the tomb but Jesus' body wasn't there. It was a bit of an emotional roller coaster, really. I mean, we started out the morning thinking that we were going to see Jesus' body. We couldn't really get any lower than that. But then his body wasn't there. Well, we were stunned. We didn't know what to think. Eyewitnesses describe angels appearing announcing that Jesus Christ had risen from the dead. Well, we went from stunned silence to terrified when we saw the angels, but then to absolute elation when we heard that message. It wasn't at all what we'd been expecting, but we couldn't have hoped for better. Jesus is alive again, amazing! And finally, an undertaker comes up against an unexpected after-sales query. I mean, I only sold it to him on Friday two days ago and he comes in here asking me for a refund he got a big smile on his face because uh, apparently the goods are no longer needed i mean this jesus apparently he died on friday and then he gets up this morning walks out of the tomb leaves them behind i mean a refund on grave clothes who's ever heard of that <laughs>